All right, AMP1 students, we're going to finish up talking about the basic structures of a synovial joint. Uh, so in the last video, we ended talking about the synovial fluid. And so now we're going to uh, talk about ligaments in this video, sensory neurons, blood vessels, and then tendons. So for the ligaments, um, we should know that it's the ligaments are made up of dense, regular connective tissue. And those ligaments, um, they're going to connect a bone to another bone. And when they do that, um, they're helping to strengthen or stabilize that joint. Um, so let me go to, this is a good example. This is our knee joint. Um, but this is a good example that shows the ligaments um, that are associated with the knee joint. So you can see a ligament here. And you can see a ligament over here. There's ligaments here. There's one here. There's this one that's kind of hiding back behind there. But all of those are connecting the, the femur to either the tibia um, or the fibula. And so having those ligaments in place, they're keeping the, keeping the um, uh, femur and the tibia and the fibula um, in the right place and also right in the correct alignment with each other. Um, so we want the, we don't want too much movement, additional movement at our joints, you know, like this way, like left to right or, um, or anterior, posterior, like forward and backward. Cause that's going to cause, um, the, the structures that are trying to reduce friction, uh, to not be able to do their, their job as well. So we need to keep those, those joints. Uh, and those bones associated with the joint in the proper alignment. So, and that helps to strengthen and stabilize that particular joint. Um, and whenever we have an issue where, um, which can happen, we can um, have damage to a ligament, um, then what happens is we'll, we'll have a movement at the joint that's not supposed to happen if like a ligament gets completely torn. Um, then what we'll have is um, obviously pain because ligaments contain sensory neurons. So if they get ruptured, they, um, that sends a signal to our brain, but they also will cause the joint to move in uh, a certain direction that it's not supposed to. Um, and that's going to cause the joint not to be as stable and can start to cause, you know, damage to the structures in there if it, if it continues like that and it's not, not repaired. So, Okay, so those are our, our ligaments um, that are associated with joints and why they're associated with our joints, how they can um, help with our synovial joints. So the next thing is the sensory nerves. Um, and so remember we discussed how the, the bone definitely, bone tissue definitely has a lot of uh, sensory nerves in it. So it's very, so that's when we fracture it, it, it hurts because those sensory nerves send that pain signal to our brain. Um, articular cartilage, remember, um, or any cartilage doesn't have sensory nerves. So, um, so if you do any damage to that, you're not going to get a, um, a pain stimulus to your brain. Um, but ligaments definitely have sensory neurons, um, as well as this, um, articular capsule. Um, so the ligaments and the articular capsule structures have sensory neurons. So if you have any sort of um, injury to them, you're going to get information sent to your brain that's, um, you know, pain stimuli. And so you'll know that you, that you hurt something. Um, and they also just, in, besides pain, also the sensory nerves send signals to our brain to tell us like how much our joints moving and, um, you know, if our joints getting stretched, you know, and, and so that's, that's the, um, importance for communication that makes us aware of, um, you know, whether we, if we're getting stretched too much, we may have a reflex to kind of, you know, prevent that overstretching of our, uh, joints, which would cause, you know, maybe damage to our muscles, um, or just tells us where our, you know, joints are in relation to our body, if it needs to, um, do something to, or we need to do something, send a signal to one of our muscles to do something so we don't fall over or something like that. So, so those are, those are located in the artic articular capsule and ligaments. So not only sends pain signals, but also communicates about the position of your joints and any stretching going on and, um, any injury that might be going on down there too. So, all right. So, um, the blood vessels, 
So remember, we talked about how the there's a lot of blood vessels. They're not showing them in these pictures, but a lot of blood vessels associated with the bone tissue. Um, no blood vessels in the articular cartilage, um, but we do have blood vessels associated with our um, with our synovial joints. Um, so that synovial membrane is primarily where we have blood vessels um, located, and that would make sense because remember the synovial membrane's function is to produce, help produce the, and secrete the synovial fluid. And synovial fluid is just a product of the, some of the components of the blood. So we would need blood vessels in that area. Um, so that's mainly where they're located. And remember, blood vessels are there just to bring nutrients and oxygen to various cells in the body um, and then take away any, away any waste products. So, so we do have that, that in our um, synovial membrane blood vessels. All right, and again, they're not showing blood vessels on our pictures, but that's where they would be located. Okay, so the final thing that we'll talk about in this video is the tendons. And so tendons really aren't um, part of the synovial joints. They're, they're kind of um, outside synovial joints, so they're not really like a part of a synovial joint. Like ligaments can be, um, you know, like running inside the synovial uh, cavity or joint space and um, and they can be as you know associated with the um, articular capsule and things like that but tendons aren't tendons are not actually structures of the joints but they do like run across the joint so they pass from one side of the uh, one side of the joint to the other um, or they might go around the around the joint so they're like you know adjacent to the joints um, so we need to be familiar with them and what they do too. So when we're talking about joints, they, are, they have the same type of tissue as ligaments. It's dense, regular, connective tissue. Um, but they don't connect bone to bone like ligaments do. Um, they are going to go from a muscle to a bone. So that's the difference in their um, location. So they're going to go from muscle to bone. So they're going to attach a muscle to a particular area on the bone. Um, and then remember the areas on the bone that the muscle will, the tendon will attach the muscle to is, is going to be a lot of the surface markings that we weren't learned about in labs, like the greater trochanter, the greater tubercle. Those are all, um, you know, places where muscles attach, tendons attach, sorry. Um, but essentially the muscles are attaching since the tendons are connected to them. Um, and so then whenever the muscle contracts, then that causes the, uh, the tendon to pull on that bone and the bone will move and that'll cause a joint to move. So, um, so they are, again, not so much a, you know, structure of the joint, but they are adjacent to the joint. So they do help with stabilizing the joint, just like the ligaments do. They just do it in a little bit different way. Um, so because they're crossing uh, a joint, going from one side of the joint to the other, or they're, you know, going, uh, around the joint, um, they can help with keeping that joint and those bones in the right alignment. They just kind of do it a little bit in more indirectly than the, than the ligaments do. So, so still important. And then we'll, it's good to start talking about tendons because when we get to the muscular system, we'll talk about the anatomy of muscles and we'll tendons and connect that connective tissue is going to be a part of that anatomy that we need to know. So, all right. So um, in the next video, we will start talking about the different um, kind of like major synovial joints. So we'll talk about specific ones and you guys will learn a little bit of, of anatomy about those um, specific joints. So we'll talk about the temporal mandibular joint and the shoulder joint and we, we may talk about the knee joint. We do that in lab quite a bit, so we may skip that one but for lecture. Um, but the hip joint, so that'll be the next uh, few videos that will discuss different specific joints in the body. And again, remember that the uh, a lot of Chapter 9, especially the classifying of joints, um, that will be covered in lab, and we'll do that. That's be lab 7, so, so it'll be probably within the week or two for most people. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next video.